Welcome to Media Exported, a channel where I show you different video editing tricks and techniques that will take your skills to the next level. In this video, I will show you how to create this smooth spin transition with Blur in Premiere Pro. Before we begin, please subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this one. With your clips ready, the first thing you need to do is go to the project panel and add an adjustment layer. Expand this, click on the adjustment layer and click OK. Now drag your new layer to the timeline where you want to create the transition. Crop it to about 10 frames. Duplicate it by dragging it over the first one while holding ALT. To add all necessary effects, go to the effects panel and search for replicate. Drag and drop it on the bottom adjustment layer. You will also need the mirror effect, so do the same thing to add it. Now, with the layer selected, go to the effect controls panel so you can see the effects that you added. For this transition, you will need four mirror effects. Select it and press Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V three times to paste. Now you should have four mirror effects for this layer. In the Replicate Effect Control, change the value from 2 to 3. Now you need to make a reflection of the central image on every edge. On the first mirror effect, change the reflection angle to 90 and set the vertical value of the reflection center so that it mirrors the central image. On the next mirror effect, set the reflection angle to 90 and again align it with the central image. On the next mirror effect, set the reflection angle to 180 and this time, adjust the horizontal reflection center value. And for the last one, leave the reflection angle at zero and again align the horizontal reflection center value. You should end up with something like this. Now, let's add some effects to the top adjustment layer. In the effects panel, search for transform and add it to the layer on top. Then find the transform effect in the effect controls panel. In here, enable uniform scale and increase the scale by three times so that only the original frame is visible. With your playhead on top of the cut of two clips, move five frames to the left by clicking the left arrow on your keyboard. Now go to the effect controls panel and add a rotation keyframe. Move the playhead back and go the same amount of frames to the right. Then add another rotation keyframe and set its value to 360, which is one whole rotation. Also, to make the transition smoother, select both keyframes and add ease in and ease out. Click here to see the graphs. Move the playhead to the cut of clips and try to create a peak at that point on the graph. To add some blur to this effect, untick this box and increase the shutter angle. I used 360. Transition is now finished. You can use it anywhere in your project by duplicating those two adjustment layers and dragging them over other clips. Please subscribe if you learned something. Unfortunately, that's all for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.